So let's start by creating a GitHub account. We can navigate to github.com and you can use your existing accounts if you have one. So I'll be creating a new account here. So I'm just going to sign up for the free version. And let's, let me provide some of the details. So you can give any details over here. I don't want to have any announcements. Let me verify. And that's it. I guess it should uh, create the account. Okay, I need to enter another code. So let me just check my email. Okay, so let me just uh, give in some more details. I'll just skip the personalization. And that's it. So it should uh, initialize your dashboard. And this is a brand new GitHub account. I don't have any repositories. I don't have any settings. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, have a look at the settings. So I'll just go to the settings tab. And I'll just leave all the things as it is. I just want to check the billing and the plans. So I can click on billings and plans, plans and usage. And as you can see here, I'm using the GitHub free plan. And this is the basic plan for all developers. And the points should be highlighted here are, so we are interested in these two points. So by default, in a free account, we get 2000 GitHub action minutes per month and we also get 500 MB of package storage. So this storage can be used for both uh, GitHub packages as well as GitHub Actions artifacts as well, okay? So this should be more than enough for us to go through this course, do the hands-on and understand how GitHub Actions work. And if you scroll down, uh, you should also see the usage minutes. So you can also download uh, the report, like how many minutes you have used per minute, I mean per month. And it also gives you some basic rates with respect to the Ubuntu, Windows, and the Mac OS, uh, you know, virtual machines. And if you see here, the Ubuntu 2 core machine, uh, it costs around uh, $0.008 uh, per minute, whereas the same uh, week goes in a Windows virtual machine costs you two times about the Ubuntu machine. And if you talk about the Mac OS, it costs up to 10x compared to the Ubuntu 2 core machine. If you want to know more about billing and the prices, we can go and check out the documentation. If you scroll down, you also see the packages and how much you know space we have used in packages. And for actions and packages, I guess, yeah, this is the one which, uh, you know, we will be interested in. So we get 500 MB uh, included in the free plan. So any artifacts or any images which we are pushing to the GitHub packages. So it's going to, you know, display the limits and the storage options over here. And uh, to conclude this, I'll just, you know, quickly go through the billing perspective. So this is uh, within the GitHub documentation. I am within billing for GitHub Actions. And if you see here, uh, this page talks about uh, the all, uh, you know, billing related stuff uh, with respect to GitHub Actions. And uh, we have various different plans. So we are currently in the GitHub free plan, which gives us 2000 minutes per month and 500 MB of storage. If you scroll down, it also talks about the minutes multiplier. So as we have seen in the earlier billing page, so the windows cost uh, two times the Linux virtual machines and whereas the Mac OS cost you, you know, 10 times that of the Linux virtual machine. And if you want to look at the cost for different uh, virtual machines with different CPUs, so you can have a look over here. So if you see here, the Linux machines, so these are the cost per minute for the Linux machines for different uh, CPU cores. And this is for the Windows, which is exactly two times that of the Linux machines. And finally, we have the Mac OS runners or virtual machines, which cost you know, approximately 10 times that of the Linux virtual machines.